this video, I'm going to show you my path tracer in Neuro settings. So first of all, you need to import your 3D assets into your scene. I already did that. I used most of Twin Motions furniture, but also Sketchfab. And except the carpet, the carpet is my home carpet. I scanned it with my smartphone and imported it into Blender and then into Twin Motion. And then I also applied all of my materials to the furniture. And now it's time to render the scene. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna click on media and I'm going to find a camera perspective that I like. Um, I already created an image uh, that I like. So I'm going to click now on the path tracer settings and you see the scene is pretty dark. It looks pretty weird at the moment. Um, so I'm going to change some settings. I go to my environment settings. I scroll down to the HDRI and I increase the intensity of the HDRI maybe something to four or five um, and you can also adapt the rotation um, i'm also going to increase the exposure i'm going to set it now to two but maybe i'm going to decrease that later um, and i'm also going to increase the sun intensity a bit maybe to 10. I think I'm going to decrease the exposure a bit to 1.5 maybe. I think the rest is fine. I'm going to check the opacity of the windows at the moment. <clears throat> maybe I'm going to change that as well. So in the scene you see right here, I'm using some lights. Um, if you click on the library section and you go to lights, if you are a beginner, I would be really careful um, with those lights because if you do too much, it looks unreal. So be very careful in using those. Let me just show you where I put the area light. So I'm going to change the intensity at the moment so that you can see where I put the area light. I'm going to change that back now and also I'm using on the ceiling some light and also I'm using an omnidirectional light here where the lamp is. So I think the scene is still too dark so I think I'm going to increase the light a bit. So I'm going to change now the lighting settings for this lamp. And I'll also enable the shadows for my scene. Going to my render settings now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to decrease the fireflies to five. I'm going to decrease the contrast a bit more than I usually do, maybe to 60. And I do go down with the saturation just a bit, like that. I go to my camera settings. Um, you can always change the focal length, but I think I'll leave it um, like it is at the moment. I don't enable depth of field depending on if I have something in my in front of my image but at the moment I don't have that. I decrease the lens dirt and I also increase the sharpness to 60 depending on what you like. Um, I think 60 is good. I always change those settings at the end. So I think it's still a bit too dark. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to decrease my exposure again, just a bit, maybe to two. Maybe I go down to the HDRI and also change it a bit. So you can also, you can always um, adapt those settings a bit. You can also play around with the ambient, the sun intensity and uh, the exposure. I think I'm going to leave it now like this. Um, 
The only thing what I want to change, I do want to change the focal length because I want this candle to be seen. Good, now I go to my render settings um, and I change the samples and the bounces. Um, what I usually do, I usually render in a low quality first and then if I'm satisfied with the image outcome, I go in and use the full samples and the full bounces, I usually do. So now I'm going to render with low quality like this and I also click on the image and change it um, to 4K. And I'm going to save the file first and then I'm going to click on render. I would recommend if the render process is done, look at the image and think about what you could change, uh, increase the lighting or decrease the lighting, maybe place some furniture, maybe use some decorations or um, use some different materials. I would always adapt the light and the material settings if you're not satisfied. I think those settings are the most important for your scene. Um, colors make such a huge difference to your scene. So yeah, that's for the video. I'm going to show you now some scenes I already rendered and I'm going to write down which settings I used. But yeah, that's how I usually do my Path Tracer indoor settings. Um, if you have any problems with your settings, please comment down below and I try uh, to help you with that. But yeah, I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching and yeah, I hope I see you in my next video. Bye!